Jan, it's time to loop heroically. Are you ready? Oh no, I was. I'm still stuck in the last loop, Brad. That's go like, on without me. I got bad news for you. It's tomorrow. Also, the world is gone. <laughs> oh, it's like that Tom Cruise movie. That's right. Maybe. Yes, Edge of Loop Hero. That's the one. Um, yeah. Before we start here, I'm just gonna make you watch this intro for Loop Hero. Okay. Because I think it is hella metal. <laughs> Way into the art in this game. Got like a. It's nice. Got like an early '90s like PC kind of VGA pixel art look to it. I think it's great. Yeah. And then everything starts melting into the cosmos. Brad, I'm afraid this is gonna happen in real life. That's you know we're not that far <laughs> off. Let's just not talk about it. Uh, sounds of agony will quickly fade. In fact, oh. it's not. Uh, at also, least there's that. You know, any day now, an evil skeleton man, wizard sky, wizard guy, gonna show up and melt reality. Oh, there's an evil skeleton in the sky. Only we can stand against it. I guess we have to. That's the intro. Um, all right, let's pop past out, out of this, and I just want you to see that part because I think it's great. That was really neat. Uh, and now we'll actually jump to my real save. He keeps doing this thing. Maybe if anybody else runs into this. It looks like it's deleted my first save, but it actually hasn't, which is a really weird, alarming thing to see. Anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, we're good, though. Uh, okay, so there's there's kind of two major aspects to this game. I'm going to bypass the building camp upgrading one right now and go to the, the fun, the, the okay. actual action, and we'll come back to this after we do another loop. Uh, okay. Here's what happens every time you start a loop in this game. You have a deck that you're building. Uh -huh. These are cards that will drop off of enemies and treasure chests and that sort of thing. Uh, you'll see how I play them when we get in there. Most of them are bad. A couple of th these are good. These are pretty good. These are all bad. Well, these are okay. You'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I've got my deck assembled here. You'll see what these do when we get in there. I will, I will okay. labor all the tooltips right now. But uh, this is the deck I'm going to stick with. You can disable some cards. You see I've got a budget down here. I have to oh, have yeah. I have to have seven or more and twelve or less, basically. So, yeah, get rid of that spider cocoon. If I turn off too many, it's like, ah, oh, now I can't go. I see. Um, you know, I might need spider cocoon. I haven't quite figured that part out yet. This is there's a few things this game does not explain as well as I might like. Okay. Uh, but we'll get into that stuff anyway. Um, I gotta have the vampire mansion. <laughs> It sounds like a nice place. How can you not have the Vampire Mansion? I don't know what uh, what is up with these locked cards. I don't know how to unlock that. Maybe I just don't have enough of the stuff unlocked at my base? I don't know. Like I said, there's some stuff they don't explain. Anyway, let's get in here and play. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what do I want to toss so as to get the Vampire Mansion. Ah, forget it. Let's just go. Um... It seems like some more stuff unlocks. Like, right now I only have the Warrior class, and I have been trying and trying and trying to beat the first boss of this game, and I haven't even gotten there yet. Oh, boy. It's hard. This game's hard. Um, I... So, yes? I, I have no idea what this... How this game it's a really, goes. It's a really unusual game. Okay, so this is this is the game. I'm not controlling okay. anything. Your dude, you can pause to go into planning mode. Sure. Or unpause, and he just moves, and he just fights. Like, I'm not controlling any of this. He... He moves constantly unless you pause for planning mode, and he fights automatically. There's no interaction there. Um, all you're doing is equipping stuff as it drops, and then as I get cards, I will start playing those cards as well. So let's see okay. what we got over here. So because I unlocked the blacksmith at camp, I now start with some starting gear. So I've got a sword. I have this shield, but then this other shield dropped. They're the same. And I've got this armor. And i got this ring. All right, let's keep going. I, I enjoy how detailed your original character portrait was. Yeah, and now it's just... <laughs> just this, this little ball. dinky... Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so we got a couple cards. They're both the same. Oh. Um, so some cards... Some cards have to be played directly on the track. And you will walk over those and they will yield resources, but also spawn enemies that you will have to fight. So, like the, the grove, you can see, spawns a rat wolf every two days. Gross. Just throw down both of my groves here. Uh, and then there will be a bunch of cards you get that you play around the margins. 
So, sure. like the meadow, for instance, you can see. So basically, the, the loop is, you will go around this loop. Uh, every time you pass your campsite here, you'll heal. Mm -hmm. So like these meadow cards increase the amount of hit points that you heal. Actually, no, I, I take it back. I'm sorry. You heal on the campfire, but you also heal. <laughs> I know this is a lot. You also heal every time the day rolls over. Okay. So every time this meter fills is a day. So you will heal at the dawn of every new day. And you will heal as you pass the campfire. And, and I've, I had the meadow wrong. The meadow heals or increases your heal as the day uh, rolls over. So, I see. Uh, I'm going to try... Okay. Uh, oh. Let's... So I discovered something in my last run. I'm not going to play those meadow cards yet. Actually, I take that back. I am. Because I discovered on the last uh -huh. run, if you play a meadow adjacent to a spider cocoon and maybe some other cards, it increases the amount of hit points that it heals. You see that You see that the meadow became a blooming meadow? Yes. Oh. But that one did not, so okay. Interesting. Dude, there's a lot going on in this game, because there are parts where I could play cards endlessly around this, and they would all get the blooming effect, but not in this case, apparently. Huh. Sorry, there's a lot, and I'm still figuring it out, because, again, the game does not explain a lot of this nuance. Oh, no, I'm a big fan of everything that's going on. Uh... All right. This is uh, this is actually more active than I I thought it yeah. would be. Yeah. Yes. So when I first started playing this, like, did you ever play Progress Quest? I mean, excuse me, play Progress Quest back in the day. I have I've seen it okay. in action. Because it's not a game. Or I guess in action. Not a game you actually play. So. All right. So mountain and rock cards give you more hit points. Um, you can see in the description down there it matters how you place them because as, as they are adjacent to each other that increases. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm going to build this mountain up here with room around it to put some rocks because that will come into play. So um, I have just been chucking my meadows down in the corner just to get them out of the way, but now I feel like I need to watch out for this thing. Also, there's this treasury card. Plot that there. So that one can't be built next to any existing tiles, but after you put it down, you can then build on the tiles around it. And each time you do, you get resources. Okay. So that's why I put this one... <laughs> I know, again, I know this is a lot. Just piling more confusion on top of what's already here, but that's why... No, it's I, fine. I'm taking notes. It's that's, okay. That's why I built this meadow next to this blooming meadow, because I wanted to see if it acted like this, because the way the treasury works is that as you build tiles out from here, every single one of them will get the treasury buff. Like... Got it. I could I could keep building meadows in a line all the way up here, and they would each keep yielding the the extra items from the treasury. But apparently, okay. apparently this buff does not work that way. Yep, that's a different type of buff. It's a lot. Brad, yes. Brad, is the layout of like uh, this little map we got going on is is that does that differ per each? Yeah, loop, yes, or? it's, it's random. Oh, okay. Um, and the biggest place that that matters, I'll show you as soon as I kill these spiders. Um, is you get these these passive cards that have a big AOE oh. on them, and so uh -huh. you might want to try to play them on like a bend in the road so you can get more squares in that AOE. So like okay. here I would only get three, but here I can get like way more than that, right? So, so you know the yes. layout matters somewhat, but not it's not critical. So yeah, like I said, if I play these rocks adjacent to this mountain, I get more HP out of it. Let's continue. I have had some incredibly hot and cold runs in this game. You are utterly at the mercy of the RNG. Oh, boy. Um, see, that's the same ring. Like, I've had runs so bad, like, it was just dropping grays nonstop. I was getting no good gear. Uh -huh. And, like, it was a five-minute run, and at the end, I was just like, man, screw this. Like, this is a waste. <laughs> so I just bailed. Um, uh -huh. And then I've had runs where I was getting, like, tons of health regen and all kinds of great weapons and stuff, and it was like... I just went for like 30 minutes. Like it's it's super up and down. So. Is that at all like dependent on how you're you're setting your layout of stuff? Um somewhat not really the gear. Oh, okay. The gear mostly drops off. I mean, you can see it mostly drops off of enemies. Right. right. Um The one place uh which I can't show you yet where that differs is if I were to get a battlefield card cuz that spawns a treasure chest which tends to drop very good loot. Okay. Um, but I haven't gotten one of those yet. Okay, this... I, I tend to like health regen a lot in this game. It sounds good. It is quite good. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, 
cool. So you can also pause mid combat to uh, adjust <laughs> sort your. Sort of, uh... yeah. So it's in fact, I wasn't even actively pausing it. It automatically pauses when you mouse over the gear. Oh, I and, see. And you can so you can't play cards in the middle of the battle, but you can swap your gear out, okay. which is nice if you if you want to make a last minute change. All right, let's keep playing these mountains. Our HP is always good. Um, I have not quite decided how I feel about the beacon, because it increases your attack speed, but it also increases their attack speed, mm. which kind of feels like a break-even situation to me. Yeah. Um, let's see. The Road Lantern is pretty good because it decreases the number of monsters that spawn. Okay. Uh, and it stacks. Uh, these Chrono Crystals, it doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles, but I have not found a lot of cases where that seems to be super useful. Huh. Like, because the overwhelmingly the thing dictated by the passage of days is how often monsters spawn. Sure. So in that case, it feels like you would just be spawning more monsters faster, and I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Because this game is already quite hard. Brad, someone is working so hard on a wiki for this game. I, dude, I should have looked that up before we came in here. <laughs> yeah. Someone is in their own loop trying to help others play Loop Hero. I think that might be our only hope at this point. Hey. There's something anxiety-inducing about not being able to do anything. Yeah, especially when you get into some of these monster battles where, like, they have really high attack rate and high evasion, so you're just missing over and over. Yeah. And there's not much you can do about it. Uh, eh, I really can't give up that regen. This has not been a great run so far. Okay, that is a way better sword. Oh, there we go. Oh, I should probably slap down some more of this stuff. Obviously, you know, the more skeletons and spiders and vampires you put on the map, the harder things get. But, um, oh, I hate the swamp. Swamps, never good. No, not in any game. In no mm -hmm. game ever is the swamp a good place to be. I'm going to put it down there. So the whole time that you're playing through this, I mean, per run, you're trying to get better gear, obviously, so you can survive longer and stuff, but... The metagame that feeds back into that camp that uh, we started the video at depends, yes. depends on these resources that I'm collecting up here. Okay. Uh, and that is, so this is my guess, is that's why I want to be playing all these swamps and, you know, that's why I want to be fighting rat wolves and vampires and skeletons and mosquitoes. Uh, because I my, my assumption, and again, they don't spell a lot of this stuff out, is that that's how you are getting these different resources. Mm -hmm. uh, because the camp has been incredibly slow to upgrade. All right, so when you make a three by three grid of mountains and rocks, it turns into a peak. Whoa. And now that I have a peak, you will notice down there spawns a harpy every two days. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this uh, this starts getting crowded pretty fast. I mean, we're, we're playing a little slow here just because, um, uh, you know, I'm stopping to talk a lot. How is, like, the... I, I know there's, like, still a lot of stuff that's uh, slightly ambiguous, but is, like, the early parts of this tutorialized well? Yes. Well, yes, yes. Oh. The, the, the okay. basics of all this, it has a nice detailed tutorial that explains all this stuff. Okay. Like I said, it's more when you're getting into the metagame of, like... Whoa. Oh. Right. That's another... Because I am talking here, I'm not paying enough attention. Uh, once this fills up, it starts consuming your cards. You know what? Oh. I wonder if I just hit on something. Is a memory fragment something I actually needed for... That is entirely possible. It's like cards turn into memory fragments. Hmm. 
Oh, so it might be useful to not slap yeah, everything it down? Might, it, it might be that I need a book of memories to build something back at my base. I should actually let that show up. Alright, so I got a couple battlefields, like I said. Those yield some very good loot. Slap those down. Uh, you can only have one peak, it seems. I've tried to make a second 3x3, hmm. three three and it will not make another peak, so... Uh, keep that in mind. Um, so, like, I could play these mountains and rocks around this treasury and get stats out of them. Or not stats, uh, mats, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, but because these are better adjacent to other rocks and mountains, that seems like a waste of healing. So I'm going to put those up here. Because if, you know, if there's meadow next to rock, you're not getting any extra HP out of it. Sure. So I'll just keep putting meadow around this treasury to get the treasury buff. Have you ever felt super invincible in this game yet, Brad? Yeah, I had one run that I had like... Gosh, probably like 8 or 10. I'm not paying enough attention to my gear here. <laughs> I probably had like 8 or 10 HP per second regen going. Ooh. And so my health was just like constantly flying back up, which was pretty great. But that's only happened once. Rocks. I don't like that these spiders are attacking you with what looks to be like a pincer coming out of its yeah, body. It's... There's a lot of unpleasant stuff in this game. <laughs> I hate these guys. When you're oh. when you're on the swamp tile, so there, there's a lot of like I mean I pause here and like see there's a lot of uh kind of status effects and inherent traits and stuff. Uh -huh. Like I think if I'm not mistaken, I think has a soul means that it's capable of turning into a ghost. When you, when you kill it, but only if it's on, like, a tile that will force it to turn into a ghost. Uh, you can see oh, that no. specific tiles also have status effects going on, so, like, regen and vampirism, lifesteal actually hurt you on the swamp tile rather than help. A lot to keep track of in this game. <laughs> oh, Brad, now I don't want it in the back of my head that every time I've killed a mosquito, it's come back as a it's ghost just, mosquito. It's just haunting you. Nah, yeah. Uh, to a large extent, I'm ignoring a lot of this gear because they're all filthy grays. Sure. And who, who would use that? Never. Um, let's see. I don't want this Oblivion to scroll off because it's very useful because it just lets you delete some monsters from the board. Hmm. I'm going to delete these rat wolves. Um... Oh, so it looks like it got rid of the, the grove as well? Oh, well, wow, you're right. I've never used that on a on a road tile before. <laughs> Typically, I would just use it on one of these. Whoa! That was a lot of stuff. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm starting to see some higher quality stuff. And I just got my third battlefield, which is maybe the most I've ever had. Um, I mean, you do get, in, get into a lot of judgment calls of, like, you know, this has less damage on it, but it's got more abilities, like, oh, I really like the regen on this, so I'm going to stick with it, even though it's technically not quite as good, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Uh, that is unilaterally better, so let's take that. Okay. There's a lot of monsters There's a lot going popping on. off. It's a blood clot. Not really, uh, not quite sure where this comes from. A uh, blood clot could have a soul, apparently, and it might turn into a ghost. Treasure chest. Oh, it turned into a mimic. God damn it! You do not get any good gear from the mimic. You just take damage. Oh, uh, that's a that's bummer. A real bummer. Oh, uh, occasional. Okay, I guess sometimes you do. I've had mimics not drop anything. 
Okay, so I guess we did we just get okay, we just got our book of memories. Oh. Uh alright. Here is a good weapon. There we go. Man! Why they all gotta be mimics? They're usually not all mimics. I wake up every morning saying that. Tell me about it. Oh yeah, that mountain range didn't turn into a right. peak. Yeah, so I guess it's it seems like it's just one peak per per map. Um hmm. Uh, do you see any other instances where these chrono crystals might be good? Like I like I originally was putting them around these battlefields because I thought, um, you know, doubles the effect of a day's passing meant like, oh, maybe it'll spawn two chests instead of one, but it doesn't. So like, yeah, I don't know if you want more monsters. Right? See, like this grove. Look how many. <laughs> like yeah, rat that's a lot. Oh, are God. spawning because it's there. Like I might actually delete that. I'm not sure. Uh. You can't put that. Does a chrono crystal affect um, the the treasury tile at all? Uh, well, it has to be played around the track. So oh, if, if I had okay. built the treasury close enough, maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Boy, that's a lot of monsters. Uh, hmm. Do I want to give up my regen for this attack speed? I don't have any vampirism though, so that means I'm not going to get any health back. I don't know. Uh, these potions are a thing I got by building a specific uh, kind of upgrade at my base. Okay. Uh, and you don't use those actively. They just kick in when you hit, what is it, uh, 4% HP. Damn it. Okay, now we're talking. Oh. Uh, all right. I think it's time to upgrade that ring. Man, I am really taking a beating. I feel like I'm betting on horses watching Kinda? this. <laughs> Kinda. There, there's a lot happening right now, and it seems like it is a lot to manage, Brad, but is there a way to... Do you, can you speed up the... Yeah, so there's only two speeds, oh. and it's really just movement speed. There's just... How fast do you go through the track and that's sort of thing? And it's just it's just a toggle, so this is as okay. fast as it goes. I'm not in the best shape at the moment. Well, you said that, but you went through that encounter pretty fast. I'm you know what? I don't think I don't think these rat wolves are gonna cut it. Ooh. Hmm. Mm, I don't think so. I'm not sure that magic damage does anything on the warrior class. Oh, right. Uh, I could be wrong. You're playing this on Steam, Brad? Yes, I believe it is only on Steam. Okay. It's only 15 bucks. It's not bad. Especially for what seems... To be a cave that's uh, incredibly system heavy. Yes, there's a lot to dig into here. Yeah, man, these grays are just almost never worth it. It's a bummer. That you've been playing for um for a while now. Yeah, and you're still getting those. That's that just mostly tends to be what drops off of enemies, unfortunately. So, mm, I see. except for I probably should start. What in the world are those? Are those all blood clots over there? That looks terrible. <laughs> Um, since I had so many battlefields, I probably should have spread those out so I was getting gear more evenly throughout the run instead of all at the front. But, oh. Well, it looks like I've got pretty good defense going this run because I'm not taking that much damage. Yeah, you're at least pretty beefy. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I want to... What if I were to get rid of all these blood plots? Let's see. Yeah, there. That's probably the most battlefields I have ever had before. Um, I should probably start. So these road lanterns stack. So if I put those here, that will cause fewer monsters to spawn out of there. Which seems good, but. 
Again, though, it's not super clear to me if I need to be fighting more of those monsters to get more mats to upgrade, you know? Like, I'm not... Yeah. It's not super clear what exactly I need. Like, the, I wish the game kind of nudged you a little more in, like, hey, you should be focusing on this to get the stuff to upgrade this blacksmith or whatever. Right. It's, uh... It's pretty vague about a lot of that stuff. Have you have you been approaching like each of these loops with like a specific, I guess, build order? No, because it's so dependent on what you get. Oh. Um. Yeah. Yes, that's probably. Sixteen percent vampirism is probably better than all that. Uh, attack speed is also good. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're really just so at the mercy of the stuff that's dropping. Yeah. But you kind of just have to roll with what you got. Um. Hmm. Take that treasure chest. Of course, it was two different weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Damage to all. Counter. Seems pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. This is a toughie. Yeah, that's a pretty high counter chance. Let's give that a shot. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Yes. There we go. Now we're talking. Ooh. Yeah. Get all that gear. Hey. Okay. Yes. Good stuff. Um. Hmm. That. Oh, that's a lot of regen to give up. A lot of regen to give up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Let's try that for now. Ghost! Mm. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Those other uh, equipment slots, Brad, are you just not picking up anything? I, I don't believe I can. Well, no, A, yes, I am not. But B, I don't think those are unlocked yet. Oh. Because even if I, well, I can't move a thing, but these are, are kind of filled in more darkly. The color is a lot uh -huh. more darker. Oh, um, okay, okay. And before I unlocked the potion, this one was also kind of grayed out like these are. So I, I think it. these are just not active either because of my class or because of the stuff I built back at my base. I'm not quite sure which, but... I mean, that's another one of those things they just don't really spell out until you do the thing that makes it happen. Um, well, let's just roll with this. pretty close to the boss, so I don't think I mentioned earlier. Boy, that's a big fight. Um, the other meter up here, so this is the daytime meter. Okay. This is the boss meter. Uh, I see. So, if we can fill this meter up, the boss will appear. Although I am really in some shit right now. <laughs> um, I don't think I have anything here that's gonna help. Really? Unless I want to play this beacon, but that's just gonna make them attack faster too. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of attack speed. I should probably use that. Hit him! Get him! Watching your guy miss over and over when you can't do anything about it is kind of infuriating. Uh, uh, this uh, is a bad neighborhood, Brad. Yeah. Okay, it's going all right. Still got two potions. Oh, that, attack that attack speed is helping you yeah, out. Yeah, and I got 8% vampirism, which is, you know, the faster you hit, the more life you're getting back. 
This, this could be going worse. Oh. Get a little blood clot. You wouldn't think a blood clot would be that agile, you know? How am I missing that? No. Wouldn't it just kind of sit there like a lump? Um, hmm, no, I can't give up that attack speed. Hmm. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess to, to answer your question about, like, a, a builds or strategy or whatever, like, sustainability is the thing I try to go for the most. Sure. So that is mostly, um, mostly vampirism and regen. Just anything to get your health back as much as possible is, is kind of the name of the game for me. Could be throwing more of these down. I, th I don't know if I mentioned, so these these tiles are the cards that go on the track. Every time I pass over one of these, I will get resources out of that, which is not true of these ones that appear off the track to the side. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, you mentioned with the groves and yes, stuff. Yes, yes. So, like, if you can handle it, you do want to be slapping those down as much as you can just to get the mats, but, uh, but that is just more to fight, which at this point, I got my hands full already. <laughs> oh, yeah. So close to the boss. These mosquitoes are gross. Yeah, it's really not. Not my favorite. Man, where are the Oblivion cards? I could really use a few of those. I remember looking at a screenshot of this game and thinking I had a grasp on what it was like, but seeing it in action, I, no. <laughs> it's a weird game. Like, it's. I, yeah. I think everybody I've talked to who is playing it also finds it, like, kind of hard to describe. Like, it's just not quite like anything I've played. Yeah, it's not quite a, a deck builder per no. se. And it's not really an RPG, but it's not an idle game. Yeah. It's got elements of all that stuff. Yeah, I thought for a moment it would also be like a tower defense game too, but... I mean, I don't know. This is riding a lot of lines, but Yeah, for sure. Man, that is a lot more attack speed. Let's just see what happens with an all attack speed build. <laughs> They'll give him a chance to hit you. That's right. That's, that sounds like a viable strategy to me. Okay, we're about to get our campfire he heal. We're about to get... Oh, no, the treasure chests have not spawned yet. That's a real bummer. I believe they oops, can't go there. I believe they only spawn. Oh no no, it is when you cross, not not at the start of the day. Yeah, look at all that gear. Oh, that looks good. Let's see. Regen. A little bit less regen, but that's pretty good overall. Uh also quite good. Ooh, gosh. Lower damage, but higher... Is that, that's an 8, not a 3, correct? I just want to make sure my eyes aren't playing tricks on me. I thought that was a 9. Oh, no, that's an 8. 28%. I mean, oh, we could, this is a toughie. We could do the math if we wanted to. Is an extra 8% 8, 8 attack speed better? I'm going to say yes. Uh, magic, uh, no, I'm going to skip that. Okay, I think we're good for now. Probably... 11 more vampirism is not bad, but that's a lot. That's too much attack speed to give up. Oh, dude, the boss is almost here. Oh, we're so close, and Brad. Doing like okay on health here. Just healed up because of the day and the campfire. I've never even seen this go, this boss before. run this terrible gauntlet that I've made for myself up here at the top, but... Oh. Hmm. Mm, nah. No, not worth it. Yeah. <clears throat> like the biggest reason to get your max HP up if you're not already near the max uh, is that the healing is all percentage-based. I see. So it does help a bit there, but 
max HP doesn't do much for you if your current health is already way lower than that. Um, hmm. Speaking uh, of which, probably not. Uh, ah, that's a lot of regen, but it's. Hmm. How do you think this attack, attack speed's speed has been doing for me? I think it's been okay since you have the vampirism stuff yeah. going. Yeah, that is a good chunk of regen, but eh, let's let's let it ride for now. Uh, this is a tough. Yeah, it's this, this is a tough road ahead. Really moving into this rough bend here. Oh, there goes one of my potions. Hmm. Nah. That's a lot of damage, but yeah. So that damage to all is not bad, but... Oh, that boss is going to be here any second. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, the boss is just waiting for us to be on low HP. Yeah. What a coward. Uh, it's not out, is it? That meter looks like it's full. So many blood clots. Oh my god, these things are terrible. Ugh. Oh my god. They hit yeah, hard. Yeah, they hit hard and they evade a lot. These guys are terrible. No, Man. not like this. Come on. I just want to see the boss. No. Come on. Uh, what? Oh, oh shit. Oh no, I have to make it there? Oh, Dude, god. come on. <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're so far away. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, this music is great. The music is really good in this game. We have not been getting a ton of it here. It's it's a little variable. Uh, hmm. hmm. I might take the heavy attack speed hit here to get that regen. I don't think it's going to be enough to sustain me all the way around. Uh, yeah, that okay. there's a corner there that's, that's, that's pretty hard. Yeah, I'm really not liking my chances here at all. Uh, Do you have any more potions, Brett? Oh, oh no. I Out. sure don't. Okay. Uh, hmm. Not sure if I actually want to slap these battlefields. I assume these battlefields are the what are spawning the blood clots, which seem real bad. You'll note that that's not listed in the <laughs> list of effects of this card. <laughs> Something you just get to find out for yourself. Maybe I'll hold on to that for now. Yeah, it's those blood clots that are messing up our business here. Yeah. I uh, don't think this is going to go in our favor. No. I think we have a tough decision to make. Oh, we're so close, Dude, Brad. This, Let's just ride it out. Oh, my God. Well, so that's the one thing I haven't touched on here. Uh-huh. Is the risk-reward of these loops is... Um... Basically, every time, although now that the boss is out, I guess this is probably no longer an option. Let me read this first. Time to face the destiny. Okay. So while this is a campfire before the boss comes out, every time you complete a loop and get back to the campfire, you are given a chance to leave and take 100% of what you've collected up here. Oh, man. I know, right? Yeah, you see where this is going. If I die before I get there, I only keep, uh -huh. I only keep 30% of this stuff. Oh, man. Or... I can choose to leave right now and keep 60%. Aw, oh, man. Right? It's the most agonizing choice every single time. <laughs> like, there is no way I'm making it to this boss, let alone beating it, right? Yeah, I, I want to be optimistic here, but like I, you got I, I would, spiders. I, I don't think I'm even going to make it through this right here. Yeah. I really don't. Uh, I think we got to cut our losses, man. I'm sorry. Is it just like a random 60% of everything? I, I don't you know. I, it's probably 60% of each one. Just okay. flat. But I know people want to see us shoot for the moon, but I seriously, I don't, I would say like here is probably about as far as we're going to get. It'd be a fool's errand. And then we just have less stuff to upgrade the camp with. I. That's Loop Hero. We should show off the, the camp yeah, stuff. Yeah, we got we to gotta look at the stuff. So, uh, so you get back here, you go into your build menu. Okay, all right. Finally, Jeez. I can build some stuff. Uh, so this is the this is the part of the game that has been very slow for me. Is like uh -huh. 
I went through like half a dozen loops in a row, and every single time I came back here, still did not have enough stuff to build anything with. Uh. You know, like it just kind of takes a while to grind this stuff out. What is the gymnasium? Uh -huh. Ooh. What's the ability to gain special... Oh, dude, that sounds huge. I don't know what that is, but... Also, what is the village card? <laughs> like, everybody who is here, like, doesn't remember the old world, and it's all very dreamy and, like, kind of vague. Like, everybody's, like, trying to figure out existence again. Yeah. It's, it's a... It's a strange game. Any idea how big of a team I, this I is? I don't. I really don't. I don't know much about the developer at all. Okay. Okay. Well, that's probably all we can build, yes. Uh, you can also upgrade stuff you already have, which maybe I should have looked into. Yeah, I don't have anywhere near enough. Oh, I see. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, like that, eight, that extra 8% to the campfire heal every time you go around would be pretty huge. Um... You know, better potions. But I just don't have anywhere near enough stuff. Jeez, and I feel like that was a... Start out slow, but that felt like a pretty successful run. It's not... I mean, like I said, it's the first time I've seen the boss. Um, so... Yeah, like, one weird aspect of this is that a lot of these, you'll notice... Uh, need the supply depot to be built before they can do, you know, all their stuff. Before they kind of fulfill their potential. Yeah. Be like, I need the Supply Depot craft tools here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's another one here. I forget. There's there's another one around here. Anyway. Like, some of these are kind of mutually reinforcing, and I just don't have everything yet. But, uh... Anyway, that's, that's the build phase of this thing. Like I said, I kind of wish... You know, they were a little more like, here, you need five of these and six of these. This is what you should be doing. Here are the enemies that drop these. That kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not quite... It's not quite that. Uh, I want to see what this village card is real fast. Oh, what? What? Okay, let me just... Oh. Let me just get in here real fast. I just want to see. Uh, let's turn off those. Interesting. So, I don't know what changed. Oh. I don't know what... Huh. Maybe, maybe getting the village is what unlocked the wheat fields, because wheat fields were, um, were locked last time, right? Yeah. And also, I noticed that enabling the grove disables the blood grove, so, okay. So some of these are canceling each other out. Interesting. Um, let's turn these guys off. Let's get some vampires. Okay, the village... Man, that, that is a huge heal, dude. That is... Okay, now I That's see... That's significant. Yes, now I see the leapfrog progression in this game of suffer for a while and then get a card like this. <laughs> Man, that would have made such a difference last time. Uh, it gives you a quest. Yeah, that, Wait, what? I really want to know what that stuff... Like, that... In fact, that gymnasium or whatever it is we just built seems like it a kind of a game changer. Let me just... I just want to pop in here real fast and... Oh, totally. See if we hit... Hopefully we'll hit... Oh man, I could see even just whatever um, rails or track they give you being making a huge difference in the early game. Totally. Be a village. Be a village. Please. How about a vampire mansion. <laughs> Ha! Uh, huh. Oh, well, that's a wasteland. What? What? That's... Wait, it makes a wasteland? What? I'm confused. So here it's a village card. Yeah. Builds 20 upon entering, gives you a quest. But then when I slap it down, it wants to become a wasteland. Is that... Well, I guess we'll find out. I wonder if it... It'll depend how many times you go through. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm not oh. sure. Oh, 
another one. It spawned something next to it. Bandit camp! Oh, this is... It spawns a bandit every two days. Bandits prefer villages. Appears for every two village tiles. Interesting. Okay. Where's my... Whoa! Dude, what? It healed you. Oh. It healed me and... Here's health and experience. What? Oh, man. Oh, is that my quest? There's like king slimes up here. I have to go kill. Oh. Okay, that is like a major new aspect of this game I have not seen at all. That's cool. I was a little lukewarm. Yeah, having that stuff. I, I was getting to the point where I was like, not quite burned out, but I was like, all right, I need something to happen in this game. I need to beat that boss and get another class or something significant needs to happen for me to stick with this game. And I think this quest and village thing is it. Uh... Because that's, that's some fairly major new stuff. I just want to get over here and kill these slimes and see what happens. Um, I just made the mistake of uh, looking up Loop Hero uh, tile order. Uh -huh. And just came across an article that is several pages long about tile synergy. Oh, huh. okay. Several pages, you say. Oh, uh, yeah. I, there, I'm sure there's a ton of quests done. So did I just get more gear out of that or experience? What did that do for me? We field plus 10 oh, HP to healing in adjacent villages. Oh, so I can- Oh, that sounds so good. So I can stick it right between these two villages and that seems like a big deal. Uh... I'm not crazy, right? The experience point bar was just not here in the last run, right? No. Okay. No, no, it was I'm not. I'm sure I'm not losing my mind here. I wonder, maybe these quest enemies just give you more XP? Yeah, they gave you like four pips. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to keep dragging this quick look out, but... No, I'm invested, okay. Brad. Okay, I kind of want to see what happens when I level up. Oh, gosh. There, there are people that have uh, dug into the, uh, the install files oh. to increase the game speed. Whoa! Huh. <laughs> okay, all right. That could get a little precarious when the, the thing is just flooded with enemies, you know, and you're like... Oh, sure, um, yeah. One nice thing, though, is, like, so if I'm in the middle of a battle, like, it's fighting. If I hit space to do planning mode, it'll continue the battle, but then when you come out of it, it'll be paused immediately, so you don't have to, like... Okay. You don't have to try to catch it as soon as, uh... uh as soon as you come out of it. Whoa! Whoa! Uh... You ain't from around here, boy. This guy... This guy needs to be dealt with. Actually, I think this came up on the bombcast this week. Like Danny was talking about it, like with the harpies as well. Oh, the harpies actually talk. Oh to yeah, him? yeah. Well, so basically, every new sort of enemy or tile type or whatever, you will have like a dialogue scene the first time you encounter them. Oh, but okay, okay. I started to say like this guy is just evil and needs to die, but like he's talking about they're in poverty too, and like the harpies are like, I just need to feed my young. Like Ugh. everybody is just having a really hard time getting by out here. Uh, it's kind of ambiguous in some ways. Uh, well, okay then. Sorry, Mr. Bandits. No. Oh, God, and a ghost. Answer that question. Well, that is too deep for me. <laughs> <laughs> Strange game. Pretty into it. Yeah, 
Yeah, man, those village cards seem like they are going to be a big deal. Yeah, you're already getting getting those back. heals. What is the? Well, I don't see. I think the description was only in the in the deck building interface that tells you how the heals upgrade because I think it's a per loop thing, right? Yeah. I want to say it might yeah, have been yeah. like plus five for every subsequent loop or something. Like that's going to be a huge amount of extra heal. Oh, you're so close to leveling up to. Yeah, I really want to see what's going to happen here. I do think, you know, that they maybe could have telegraphed that a little better of, uh, kind of, you know, giving you a little more of a sense of like, hey, if you just grind it out for, you know, eight or ten loops, you're going to start getting some cool stuff that'll make your life easier. Right. You're just... Like some type of progression thing that you're building towards. Because right. uh, it is pretty tough going for a while. Um... Probably worth pointing out this game. Uh, this game runs in a window, nicely. It's like okay. a real nice, like just drop it into window mode and slap it on your second monitor kind of thing. Uh, or on your, I I think the CRT filter is done pretty well. But you okay. turn that off if you don't like it. A dyslexia font. Yes, that's neat. I was. I'll, I'll draw back to the menu when we get out of here because that's that's pretty good as well. Mansion. Uh, oops. Brad, this is starting to feel like Catan now also. Yeah. <laughs> with the layout of everything. Are you a big Catan guy? Oh, I try not to be. <laughs> it brings out the worst in me. Whoa. Realized that Catan was such a corrupting influence. Oh, Brad, in this household, relationships sounds, have almost been oh ended. Boy. <laughs> sounds like you need to Catan lightly. Oh, you leveled up. Oh, shit, I totally did. What happened? Did you notice? Uh, was, it, was that the stat? Was that like uh, your health went up? Uh, yeah, I would assume so. I wish it. Oh, wait. I don't know if that's just the gear. Oh, dude, oh, what? Whoa. Holy crap. Uh, every morning here is sword. Wait, only one attack? That doesn't seem great. Wait, five times loop for an adjacent roadside tile. Dude, that sounds like a bit. That's more healing. Full hand of oblivion cards. Whoa. Using an oblivion card also heals you, too. This is huge. All of this is huge. I think this seems like the best one, though, because there's a lot of roadside tiles. Yeah. Let's try that. Interesting. Wow, this is okay. There, yeah, there's definitely more to this game than I have seen. Scarecrow. That's messed up. It's pretty messed up. Whoa, that scarecrow dropped some stuff, man. Uh, hmm. Mm, sure. I think I'm back on the loop, right? Yeah. I think I am. Get your loop on. I'm gonna get my loop on. Call me Bruce Willis or Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's right. Because I'm ready to loop her. You're, you're, you're going to be looping. The third. Good lord, man. Um, yeah, it's it's been... It's just been a really nice, like... Like I said, second monitor or just kind of window it and kind of check in on it while you're working here and mm -hmm. there type stuff. Uh, hmm... Okay, I know we need to wrap this up. I wonder how fast we could get back to that boss. <laughs> Shouldn't say it. Uh, you're... It's almost halfway there. If I had stopped messing around with cards and just went, like, just play them as fast as I can and don't think too yeah. much. Uh... Oh, you know, that's another incentive to be dropping more of these cards, because I heal now every time I go buy one. Right. Which I, didn't, I absolutely did not have before. That's right, just keep these villages coming. Hmm. 
guess. Oh, you might also level up again. True. Yeah, we're over halfway to the boss now. Man, did that village card just change everything? I think it did. I think it did. Everything seemed pretty dour yeah. for a while. Yeah. Things are looking up around here. Speed things up. You can set it to. Uh, da, 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 da. You can turn off the auto pause while you're doing gear stuff. Okay. I can be kind of looking at my stuff and the battles keep going. I hate to be that person that says this would be great on an iPad. Yeah. But... iPad, Switch, like the, this. Yes. Handhelds need this game. A touch screen seems perfect. Yep. Of course, you know, I would have said the same thing about Into the Breach, and that hasn't come out on iPad yet either, so... Fair. Hmm. Maybe someday. I'm not used to my health being this high all the time. It's weird. Yeah. Seems like the quest enemies are pretty likely to drop some good stuff. Yeah, you're you're holding less gray items now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now I understand why people bet on horses. Right? Yes, the ratio of excitement to interactivity in this game is kind of weird. <laughs> I'm sitting here and watching, but... Harpy ghost. I might. I just clear our way a little bit in the interest of time. Oh yeah, the more tiles are dropping, the faster that boss thing is going. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I thought that was just time-based. That's good to know. Oh, Brad, just dump everything. That's right. Just dump everything. That's right, I'm just gonna slap them all down. I go for these two? Yep. Hell yeah. Oh, I got another trait. Oh, and did I? Oh, I leveled again. Shit. Okay, are these random? I wonder. Your HP. Dude, what? Wow. Wow, man. Counterattacks restore HP. Holy cow, rest in town, first attack. Hmm. I might go for this. What do I I don't have a counter attack. I don't really have any counter right now. I'd have to build toward that. This is the most straight, kind of sustainable. Let's give that a shot. Most prudent, yeah. So building cards all over the place. Let's put you here, you here. Ah, uh, it's just cards all over the place. Almost there.
Hmm. Oh, it's happening, Brad. It's true. And now that we know that the boss spawns on the campfire, we'll try to hang on to cards and play them all like, toward the end of the loop. Hmm. I wonder if does this go up at all without playing cards, I wonder? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, these blood clots. These are the worst. Yeah. Not my favorite. are like weirdly kind of pushovers in this. In yeah. fact, the first time you meet one, they're basically complaining about how there are no people to drink blood from. <laughs> so, kind of makes sense. Ooh. I wonder if that changes now that you have villages. Oh, I don't know. That's a, that'd, be, that'd be some pretty serious depth if <laughs> the vampires got stronger <laughs> the more people came back to life. Uh, hey. Closer. Um, let's see. Try to save up some health here. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but the enemies go up and level every time you do a loop. So... The whole thing is just inherently getting harder the longer you play it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess in that sense, you'd want to try to spawn the, bat the bosses as, as fast as you could. a lot of stuff popping up. True. hitting it pretty hard now. Yeah. You're not wrong. Still gonna be close, probably. Come on! What was the threshold on my... Uh, what, 30%. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you're under 30%. Yeah. Come on. 
done. Oh my god, this is actually getting a little bit uh, concerning. Good lord, I cannot keep up with this. Uh, Man Prism. HP. Hmm. <coughs> wow, this quickly got away from us. Yeah, I'm not so bullish on our chances all of a sudden. Get rid of those guys. So I, I think using that Oblivion card lowered the boss oh, meter? Did it? Interesting. Oh, fucking blood clots. Wow, oh, these blood clots are the worst. Oh, I'm about to level again. I have not gotten a new weapon in a very long time. Huh. You're right. There's one. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> ah. That was just non-stop weapons. Time it and spawn the boss right before we get there, maybe. I think we could do I it. Think so, okay. Let me. Oh, it's gonna be pretty close. Oh, can I? Weird. Can you only build a wheat field next to a? Yes, you have to have a village down first. Okay. Let's see. That meter's getting pretty full. Hit of stunning target. Mm. 1.5. Hmm. This is increased by. I wonder if this is retroactive. Probably not. Prob. I wouldn't assume so. Yeah. I almost feel like you don't have any more potions. Yeah, this might be the way to go. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of enemies. Uh, well, there's that stun. Oh, what's... These enemies are starting to have, like, status ailments pop up. Yeah, I, I, was, I think that was that stun kicking in. Oh, okay. Uh, magic damage, attack speed, yes. That sounds good. But that's a lot of damage. I believe... I believe we can make it. Persevere. An achievement. Uh, Road Lantern. Right there. Hmm. I'm gonna play too many more cards. It did take some time for him to pop up. Oh, did it? After you had the meter full, huh. I think. Okay. Maybe I should go ahead and play all these cards then? Yeah, maybe. Maybe one more village. Yeah, maybe I should just go ahead and pop it. Is it full? It looks full. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of regen. Uh, what are we replacing here? Hmm, sure. Village. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there it is. Oh, if we could just make it there. Lich's oh, Palace? Lich's Palace? Was that different last time? 
I don't oh oh remember God. seeing that pop up. Every palace increases Lich's HP and damage by 5%. Great. Oh, we gotta see him at least. Totally. Uh, oh man, I hope we can make it. The scarecrows are pretty easy, right? Yeah. Oh, but what is... Oh my god. Ghouls? Oh, I think it's because we placed a village right in front oh of the Oh my god. Nation. Did they all become... <laughs> Shit. Oh no. There's too much going on in this game. <laughs> We're hanging in there, though. Yeah. It's about to be daylight again. I'm not... Oh yeah, wow, I'm gonna get that... You're right. Should, should get that daytime heal. We'll get the village bonuses too. Right, that's that's a decent amount of healing. Wow. Slow down. Oh, that's a lot more regen. Yeah, look at that health go up. I don't know if I'm liking our chances against the boss, I just want to see the boss. We'll consider, it's all that matters. Consider that a victory. God, these scarecrows are hitting kind of hard. No. Well, they are level 7 scarecrows. Dice rolls be with me. R in Jesus, please. Okay, we just got another morning bonus. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Oh God, Brad, it's yeah, so, this is it's such a this hard is road, rough, man. Uh, that's a lot. Let's see, yeah, let's. I think I should do that. Um, oh, let me skip that. That's even more regen. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's gonna be close, but I think we can make it. Okay. Of attack okay. speed. God, we still have. Okay, we get one more village heal. Attack speed plus twenty. I don't know if I'm hanging on to this region too much or not. Hmm. Ah, uh, I'll just go for it. Come on, come on, come on. Health bar is just kind of hanging in. Yeah. It's just hovering around a third, which. That increased regen probably helping a lot. Whenever it dipped down it's, there. It's nice that it still kicks in every time you hit a treasure chest, too. Yeah. About to do it. All right, I might go for this higher defense with attack speed. Um, I wonder if I get my potions back when I hit this guy. Hmm. All right, let's just go with it. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Laying it all out on the line. Oh my God, it's him! Oh. Holy shit! It's the evil sky wizard skeleton man. <laughs> the evil sky wizard skeleton man. The very same? The one and only? He looks like an Undertale. This guy is so goth.
Okay. Uh, oh, boy. that's a lot of stuff. Magic damage. Cosmic. I'm dead. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck? How much? God. How much did he hit for? I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video. I don't, how much did he hit for on that last hit? He was hitting for like 175. Oh, man. God. Look at all the stuff I'm losing. I know. Man. But think about what we've learned, Brad. So I had assumed that maybe I was jumping to conclusions. Uh -huh. I had assumed that was like the first boss of several bosses. I wonder, what if that's just the boss? I, you know. Maybe there's just the one boss and beating that boss is the entire game. And so in that sense, it's not surprising that I'm not able to do it yet. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know for, I don't know why for some reason. I mean because it's a run based game, I just assumed there would be a bunch of bosses that you would do runs through. Right, that that also checks out. Uh, and I still can't build anything, so <laughs> that's Loop Hero. This game's pretty cool. I'm into it. It is. Uh, yeah. I can't upgrade that. Or that. Or that. Yeah. It's kind of a grind. Uh but I'm pretty into it. Um yeah, 15 bucks on Steam. I really appreciate that they just have a bunch of flags for their language selection. That's pretty old school. And, uh... That's neat. Doing some good font work here, too. So, yeah. Anyway, loop it up, man. It's the only way.